The whole planet Earth could not communicate Until 1837 Sam Morse realized his fate Wait! The telegraph was slow but then came Alexander Bell Who earned a patent that was bound to change the world Called the telephone Bound scientifically created specifically And brought to you by AT&T Now AT&T began as Bell Telephone We built a network at long distance reaching each and every home they started out as Bell and back and forth again You see business data, voice and satellite Wireless technology The best sales team in the industry We are PCG 2013 Yeah! We are PCG 2013 Yeah! Hmm... The problem seems to be unsolvable Maybe we could run some computer simulations there are too many variables. It would take forever. We must be missing something. This is much more complex than I realized. Well, let's start again. The movie's playing here at 7.20. It's playing here at 7.40. It's playing here at 8.10. And it's playing here at 8.45. These theaters must be eliminated. But why? I mean, they're state-of-the-art digital projection with 20-channel surround sound. Yes, but they have no icy machine, despite <laughs> An aggressive letter writing campaign, I must add. What, what about the multiplex right here? The seats are terrific. They have Twizzlers and not Red Vines. No amount of lumbar support could compensate for that. Well, it's going to take us at least an hour to eat, and I don't see an unapproved restaurant proximate to an unapproved theater. We could eat after the movie. Unacceptable. The delay would obliterate <laughs> I think we can solve this with a round of rock, paper, scissors, lizard, Spock. What are the rules again? Scissor cuts paper, paper covers rock. Rock crushes lizard, lizard poisons Spock. Spock smashes scissors, scissors decapitates lizard. Lizard eats paper, paper disproves Spock. Spock vaporizes rock, and as it always has, rock crushes scissors. I can't believe this, my weekend is Ruined! Oh! What's wrong, Arkell? There's a flash mob tonight downtown, and in my marketing class, they just gave us a huge project. Huge? It can't be that huge. You know how they said everything this semester is about how successful AT&T is? Yes. Yes! We, we love AT&T! Well, I have to come up with the 2013 PCG priorities, as if I'm the big boss. Is this the growth theory? To grow revenue and grow customer relationships? Yes, it is. I'm familiar with this theory, and it seems to be infinite. Let's go to the movies. Come on, guys, we're four geniuses here. Let's help her. We can do it. In fact, AT&T is my carrier of choice. That has no possible bearing on the solution. Sure it does. I can rethink possible. Focus, I want to get to the flash mob by midnight. So let me get this straight. Grow revenue and customer relationships. We have to hold the line, grow share in IP data, strategic services and mobility, drive wireline to positive, and deliver best-in-class NPS. Wow, Arkel, you're really grasping the terminology. And the good news is, is you got it right, but you forgot one important thing. This will also allow PCG to transform our business transform our relationships and ourselves. I got it. Transform our relationships, transform our business, transform ourselves. Glad it's over. I gotta go get ready. Arkel, 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 hold up. We have just scratched the surface. The PCG priorities are like the cosmos. Far-reaching, in-depth, and this equation considers every possible outcome in this galaxy known as telecommunications. You know, Anne, I really appreciate your help, but you are crazy. No, I'm not crazy. My mother had me tested. And hello, this is for your benefit, Anne. I have homework, laundry, food shopping, keeping up with my friends on Facebook. I have to take a shower, and I have to get ready for the flash mob. A flash mob, Arkel? Really? Um, it's not, it's not, well, it's a part of the 2013 PCG Priorities Theory Project. You see, Anne, flash mobs, well, they're a group of people, dedicated people, working together to create something big. Each flash mob is unique in its own objectives. I'm listening. 
Well, Anne, to achieve success, each member must be knowledgeable and have the ability to synchronize their efforts. Everyone must learn step-by-step -step goals. Communication is very important. You have to see the value of working together as a team. To be in a flash mob, you need to be prepared, nimble, flexible, and have the ability to move with speed. So could you put the 2013 PCG priorities theory together for yes, you? you read my mind. <laughs> well, we've obviously missed the movie, so I'll do it. But you have to do something for me in return. OK, anything. What is it? I can't tell you until I'm done. Okay, that's not fair. Fine. Get somebody else to assemble a stellar team of brilliant minds to construct this theory. I'd say go for it. She is a genius. Okay, and you've got a deal. Though I have no idea what I'll have to do. I think you need to call in reinforcements to help with this theory. Jill and Trish would be perfect. Quantum leap ahead of you, as usual. But I can't seem to get in touch with Jill or Trish. I tried email, video chat, tweeting them, I am, posting on their Facebook walls, texting them, a little bit of telepathy, but nothing. Try their telephones? You know, Tom, in your own simple way, you may be the wisest of us all. Stop. Jill, I realize that you and I have not been seeing eye to eye lately, and I appreciate you coming over to help. I appreciate it so much that I would like to give you a compliment. Oh, no. Your shoes. They're delightful. Where did you get them? Thank you. I got them. Bazinga. Back. I don't care. Now let's get started on that theory. We are totally up to speed on this and want to help get our Kel to a flash mob. Did you know that a flash mob is like PCG priorities? It's a team of people collaborating, cooperating, and coordinating. You must have spoken to our Kel. She said for the flash mob to be a success, it was critical she be there. And critical to make the PCG priorities plan work, we must concentrate big on growth engines with big percentages, dollars, and tons of new logos. Then retain with growth, again, in a big way by recontracting and growing strategic services. Growth engines are my favorite part of the theory. Better than string theory. I like to think of them as a train heading to a destination. Yes, the money train. We're talking about growth engines built on the Solution Revolution Foundation, like the VPN Take Share program, and the VPN Value Bundle, and voice transformation. And global most of world. Acquisition, like core hosting. MIS acquisition. And don't forget about BVoIP acquisition. Security services and security consulting. Security is muy importante, <laughs> like network based firewall, EDOS, CETA, and absolutely security. What about managed apps? Mobility CRU and IRU acquisition. We are crushing it. Our memory and intelligence are expanding exponentially. What's next? Wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> Integrated solutions and bundles. I am on fire. More, more. This is exciting. It's like who wants to be a millionaire? This is nothing like who wants to be a millionaire. And the correct answer is mobility EPTT. Fantastic. What does EPTT mean? Enhance push to talk. Knee. Knee? Knee. Knee, knee, knee. Simple. What does it mean? It's from Monty Python. It's the knights who say knee. <laughs> and you're not usually so humorous. This is true. But I came up with a very good exchange for putting this theory together. Thinking about what Arkell owes me makes me giddy. I have no idea what you're up to, but I do know that NI is a far-reaching and encompassing team. Deployment, Wi-Fi, data centers, VDI, broadband aggregation, staff augmentation, and bridge to sourcing. That's it. We're done with this section. You are probably wondering why I called you all over here. We know all about Retain with Growth. Plus, we want to make sure Arkel gets into flash mob. She's a great dancer. I mean, in a teamwork environment sense, we should get synergized with others. Quite while you're ahead. Listen, Ann, unlike Dave, I totally understand recontracting across the AT&T U-verse. Even I know it's universe, not U-verse. <laughs> From what I learned, this section of the 2013 PCG priority theory should be the easiest. Why? In certain theories, all you have to do is add one element to certain parts of the equation, and that part of the theory falls into place. Oh, like in the Bruce Willis movie, The Fifth Element, when they realized that the girl was the fifth element. And what you covered with Trish and Jill, all we have to do is add recontracting and growth to each area of their business. Hey, even I could figure this out. 
That's right. Or should I say, that's recontracting and growth. See what I did there, Ann? Ann. Unbelievable. Hey, this is how most of our meetings end. Let's get to the flash mob. I hear they're expecting a great crowd. Hmm. For the final portion of the theory, I will need two top-notch, out-of-the-box strategic thinkers. That's why we're here. Or whoever's available. Bazinga. That Bazinga better not be for us. Yeah, we were having a great time at the comic book store before you called. I'm kidding. You two are the best when it comes to strategic transformation. How do you figure that? You both read comics. Comics are filled with people who transform and become superheroes. With the implementation of strategic transformations, Team PCG can become superheroes to all of their clients. Well played, Anne. Well played. <laughs> strategic transformation is about the cloud. And be VoIP voice transformation. The next one is really a mouthful. Be VoIP, FMC, Wi-Fi, IBS, Continuum, and a go-to-market approach. Okay, moving on. You see, short name, but very important. Got it. You see into the theory. Ready, Ethernet services transformation. Mobile apps, especially MDM and Toggle. I like toggles in an equation. Who doesn't? Super easy one, Wi-Fi, and after that, there's just one more. Okay, we've come to the final element of the 2013 PCG priorities theory. Are you ready? It's sourcing. Huh. Sourcing. It is complete. Arkel owes me big time. <laughs> Arkel, do you realize that my brains are in there? I'm sure it'll be fine. There's a lot of it. Now, I feel totally exhausted. Trying to put this entire theory together for you in one night was completely depleting. And wow, you've got this 2013 PCG priorities theory down. I'm going to ace the project. I'm, why don't you go with me to the flash mob? It'll be a blast. I mean, it'll be a remarkable convergence. <laughs> of talents aligned around a specific set of goals. Arkel, I get it. I'm wiped out. And if you knew me at all, you'd know that the only Flash I like is the comic book character. <laughs> but you do owe me for doing your homework. Oh, that's right. You didn't do this out of the kindness of your heart. So what do I have to do for you? Do I need to cook you a meal? Do I need to do your laundry no, for a week? No. Now, you must sing me my favorite comfort song. OK, but we have to leave right now. So I'll sing it to you on the way, to the flash mob. No. I want to rest. No flashing, no mobbing. Why don't you close your eyes, take a deep breath, calm down. Soft kitty, warm kitty, little butterfly. Happy kitty, sleepy kitty, purr, purr, purr. Steve, what are you doing? Where's Arkel? She left for the flash mob. Why do I feel like Dorothy? I'm out of Soft Kitty by Arkel. Oh, then we have, have to, to go, go to the, the flash, flash mob. mob. Then we're going to the flash mob. Yes. yes.